Chapter 1 Game Stream Just call me Jim. It's not my real name, but you don't need to know my real name. And to be honest, I'd prefer if you didn't. I'm a neuroscience postgrad in my work life and a gamer in my spare time. This tale is about Dark Worlds, the virtual reality game. You may have heard of it. You may have read of it. I hope to God you haven't played it. To be honest with you, I didn't even play the game to start off with. Not to start. Some people jump right into things. But not me. I'm cautious. I'm not what they call an early adopter. I like to watch and wait. I wish I'd been more cautious, to be honest. But now it's too late. At the time this happened, Dark Worlds had been getting a lot of advertising. A lot of hype. Pushing it really hard on all the streams. So I decided to check it out and look up a few feeds on GameStream before deciding whether I wanted to shell out my hard-earned cash and play. In Dark Worlds, you create a character. Pretty standard RPG stuff, but the way you do it is by inventing a backstory of where you were born, who your parents were, and your education and stuff. And of course, the game is set in 1927, so you're limited to jobs and lives you could have lived back then. Now, in 2027, the world is very different, but it wasn't so divided then. Most of us never go out. We sit in our offices and rooms. I live in Brooklyn, just outside the wall. Inside the wall is very difficult to get to, unless you have mega money. Which I don't. Or are a worker drone for the machine. Which I'm not. When I checked out the game stream site, there were thousands of live streams, and lots more recorded ones. For some reason, I was attracted to the feed of a guy called spring Jack. And his was a historic feed. Part of the attraction was that spring Jack, or SHJ as he was known, was supposed to have died in the game. Gone into the haunted house and never come back, some said. Macabre? Maybe. But I liked the ghoulish. I liked Lovecraft. That's why I was thinking of playing Dark Worlds and not something like Thunderball or League of Heroes. I had the 3D rig, but Dark Worlds came with its own special neural net, just like a hairnet that somehow linked with your mind. And, of course, it had its own game enhancer, the famous Dreamworld Inducer tablets. Miskatonic, the company that produced Dark Worlds, said it was a harmless natural product, but the rumor on the street was that it was a hallucinogenic, a version of LSD, with mysterious extra chemical bonds modified by Miskatonic. The Dream World Inducer tablets suck you into Dark Worlds. Made it ultra intense. Realer than real, was the slogan. Maybe that's how SHJ died, if he did. Because you can't believe everything you hear on the web. People you don't know tell you lies. And so I logged into SHJ's stream. He made his living from recording these things and was paid by The View. He was a smart ass. A bit of a dick, to be honest. Thought he was something special. That first night, I remember sitting in my room on the bed, watching the screen. Of course, I didn't have all the miskatonic gear, so I wasn't getting the full virtual experience. But I could see SHJ as his Dark World's load-up screen began. I don't think you're going to believe what I'm going to tell you. A game is something you should play for fun. This didn't look like fun. Not in the end. To be honest... You probably shouldn't listen to what I'm going to tell you. But you will. Of course you will. 